We recently decided on a family beach day in Cocoa Beach, Florida. And in while Cocoa Beach is one of our favorite beach towns on the Florida East Coast, we rarely get to go because we're so busy doing other things. But before we headed off to the beach, it was time for lunch. So we were off to explore the Cocoa Beach downtown area and look for a bite to eat. For lunch today, we stopped into the Tiny Turtle. The Tiny Turtle is Caribbean fusion food, and I like what they fused it with. If you watch Aiken Adventures on a regular basis, then you know that we like Mexican foods. I get the fajita burrito. Oh, I like it. I got a taco. <laughs> we all got lunch fajitas today. I like it. I like it. This and this and this. Salsa's good. Oh, Casa Amigos, you never disappoint. Ever, ever. Never disappoint. So I got a carnitas taco, a gringo taco, which is ground beef, and a spicy chicken taco. And I have a little plate of tacos. <laughs> so it's like Caribbean food fused with Mexican food. So there's sofrito nachos and sofrito burrito, a sofrito salad. Here's in Vivian's favorite part is that there is cornhole. <laughs> Piercy doesn't exactly get how you play this game. And Connect Four right over here. They even found a bucket of cars. The sofrito burrito for me. And I got the steak tip quesadilla. And I got the chip and the sandwich. And the they even got the tacos and the plantain chips. I think that tiny turtle was a good fit for us. I really liked the quesadilla that I got. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I'm glad that the Caribbean flavors didn't totally overpower the dish. Yes. They were there to make it nice and fresh and tropical. I like it. Yep, anything with chips and salsa is good in our book. I'm glad we got here when we did. I don't think we'd be able to find any parking on the street right now. Of course we had to stop at the playground for just a few minutes. So after that, we were off to the beach. Is it warm? Yeah. Right, within short order, camp was set up and we are ready to hang out for the rest of the day. Well, at least for a few hours or an hour or two. Or for a short time until the children decided that they don't want to hang out anymore. We have successfully beached at this point, so we're gonna head up and get something to eat. This has been great. Actually, the children are playing really well on the sand and had a really good time. Now it's just gonna be a matter of collecting Vivian from this family she's adopted over here. A friend recommended a place to us for dinner called Florida Seafood Bar and Grill. The Google listing made it seem like it wasn't too expensive, so maybe it'll be a good option. I'm excited. I love seafood. This place has some incredible atmosphere. And they brought us some corn fritters. It's slob for me over there, so. <laughs> they even had a balloon artist here. It's for the purple part. I know the color didn't give it Thank you. I'm here at Saturday. Good to see you guys. What is it? Balloons <laughs> are free, but he works for tips. There are a few side salad options available. There's a Greek salad and a house salad. But they also have a summer salad that has some pineapple on it and some other things too. As an appetizer, we picked up the buffalo shrimp. It can either be served in mild or hot sauce. We got the mild because of the children and because of Elena. <laughs> Our main course was grilled salmon for Elena, spaghetti for Vivian, 
and the bacon wrapped shrimp for me. The key lime sorbet served with the bill was a nice touch. And Vivian's plate doubled as a frisbee, which she got to keep. Today we're exploring Coco Village. And for the first part of the day, we've stopped by the Coco Riverfront Park. This park is awesome because it has a shaded playground area. We're gonna relocate now to the splash pad. Well, actually there's some fountains over here. Well, Vivian had a fantastic time. She always loves her a good splash pad for sure. On the other hand, Pierce didn't really like it so much. I think it's because it was cold and loud. So anyway, we didn't stay very long. So we're gonna go explore the rest of the village to get some lunch. And my hope is that we can find something kind of inexpensive. For lunch, we found a place called Kreiderman's Barbecue. We got a third pound of brisket and a big thing of potato salad and we're sharing the whole thing. 